Hey everyone, I'm Li Jing from Dell Technology. Today, I'm going to share about how Dell Technology managing thousands of database and application with is using Oracle Enterprise Manager. Today, I will talk about my company, Dell Technology, my team introduction, Oracle Enterprise Manager evolution at Dell, Production environment EM13C overview and architecture, monitoring automation, EM13.5 new feature, best practice, last is a QA session. About my company, Dell Technology, Dell has over 38 year history business in IT market. Dell provide the services from application hardware infrastructure to training and certificate. We provide solution from home user, small business to enterprise. Dell has almost 40,000 employees to serve customer to ensure customer satisfaction is the priority. Come to my team, I'm from the monitoring team. Our team taking care of Oracle Enterprise Manager EM team responsibility for the EM infrastructure and monitoring from Oracle database manager to mission critical application administrator. Application is Oracle EBS application and some in-house application, which includes HR, finance, logistics, manufacturing. We admin and configure EM from end to end. From agent installation to incident notification and support. We maintain the help of the EM, OMS, OMA, to ensure EM play the important proactive monitoring for all targets under our EM care. For better and easy manage the large amount of target, we are designed, define standard metric, incident rules, grouping for monitoring. To optimize the EM functionality for business need, we are explored on EM new release new feature, enable it for business need and keep release update is up to date. Any new Oracle product or application on board to our company, we are the team to consult and enable the monitoring. From time to time, we are review again existing structure and design again new requests. We also play the project team role to upgrade and migrate EM with Oracle Puma team. If any of you come across this project, I advise to you go for this approach to engage the Puma program for any Oracle assistant. EM manager innovation at Dell. We are using EM over 10 years, start from the grid control 10G since 2007 until today, the team point three. We start from the Oracle database monitoring and cyber monitoring, slowly explore to other products, EBS, PeopleSoft. Currently, we are monitoring Oracle database, WebLogic domain, Fusion middleware, EBS beacon in 13C. We have three EM downstream application. Those are our ticketing system, service now, email location, and CMDB, more about taking care of the server status. All the target under the EM care, all the information keep in the repository, OMR. This is one of the most benefit source for our user. This is why we have number of the in-house application help for the DB organization for their database health check, daily task audit. This is a file application they are used for that, for the maintenance KPI backup. Come to the Enterprise Manager 13C at Dell. Mainly we have two production environments, P-Production and Production. 
before any changes or new deployment, we are tested in the seed environment. To ensure the high ability of the EM, both pre-proc and proc infra are production status in CMDB. EM pre-proc is monitor non-production targets, EBS, fusion middleware, DB target. Totally, we have the 2,800 Asian. EM production is monitor EBS, fusion middleware, Beacon DB around 2,700 Asian. DBs are a are major user in our environment. We are monitor 18,000 database. Those are the ASM, Red DB, Red Instance, then Arun DB, Listener, Cluster. Middleware target is another team well interested on EM monitoring. Total, we have 3,000 targets. Mainly, we are monitor their WebLogic domain, WebLogic server. 26 beacon. We are monitor the target ability during the DC maintenance. Total, we have the 33,000 target in the EM. We are monitor application totally 72 EBS target. Metric extension is another monitoring that we are getting more discussion by the DBA now today. Totally, we have 1,500 metric extension from both application and database. For the application, metric extension are custom query monitoring to monitor application order, backlog, order status, job processing. Metric extension database we monitor DB backup, flashback, restore point detection, wallet, um, and archive prediction, validate DB services, golden gate capture. Now today we have around 2,000 users are granted with different roles. We are not only provide the access to the database team or SOA team. We are provide the access to whichever have interests for our EM. That's engineer team also one of our users. They are logged into the EM to check the DB performance when perform the load testing. For application team, they have the help of the EM troubleshoot the application database performance. Project manager is another team that we grant them the read-only access to work on their project-related tasks. We have over thousands of number of the Asian globally from different sites. Here is a, our production enterprise manager architecture. All the Asian connect through the 3D NS link. The 3D NS controller consists of the two data center with load balancing ability, which is a PC1 and S3B in active and passive mode. Async play the important roles for these two data centers. Async is sync the data between the PC1 to S3B to ensure the S3B is ready anytime for discount, disaster recovery for maintenance. Application tier OMS are uh, consists of one admin node and four additional OMS, same of the passive node. One terabyte storage is accessible for both data center contained of a BIP publisher software library related. For the database tier, we have a four nodes active standby in version 19C. Come to the release update patch. Our team frequently follow Oracle master document on any new release patch. And also we get the email update from Oracle. For OMS patching, for the one off patch example, plugin patch Java upgrade security renovation demination like the log4j happened recently. Delting write the script with the master file contain patch number. For every new UI, we will just easy update the master patch number 
then execute the script. The day actual chain window, we will ensure the rsync in place for this two side data center. We have the patch binary ready and perform the patch analyze. If any issue or any error that we hit, we will address this before actual maintenance window. During the patch, we will bring down the primary node, bring out the standby node, then we will perform patch on the primary EM. After patch complete, we will bring out the primary and bring down the standby node. Then pass again and one one to ensure everything is back and running out. For agent, there are two situations we perform the patch. One is a go agent image. This is when we have the agent bundle patch, plug in patch. We will create the new version for that. For one off patch, example Java upgrade without the P recursive security renovation, we will write the script to create the job and execute from the EM console. How we manage thousands of new agent requests, here is the automation come in place. For the agent installation, we are using the agent pool method. There are two channels we roll out the OEM agent. One is a through the ServiceNow catalog request submitted by the user. Another is a doing the server provision. There are a few images created from different groups for you, different users. Example, database team, application team, social middleware, EBS. First, we identify which group that on the image. Then we will deploy the plugin and patches in respective image. Then we'll get the Linux engineer to embed the pool.sh command in the RPM. This is more to the DB image. For other image, we create the workflow as an agent installation in their image. Then come to the provision engineer. They will report the agent based on the image, whether it's a DB, Fusion Middleware, or EBS. After the agent installation, then the monitoring agent is ready to onboard in the EM. The, this will be covered in the next slide. Here is an example for the agent pool script that we are using. Okay, for the database onboarding automation, pre-recursive is needed for automation the target in OEM. For the DB EM agent, is required to install and DBSMP account is created. For the database information, it is important for onboarding the target. There are two ways we gather the information. Either retrieve the database information from the server where the database target service is running, or user submit the request through the service now, they enter all those information. With all this information, we use the EMCI add command, then it will execute and onboard in the EM. Database onboarding is start with the cluster, then instant, instant can be the DB instant, ASM instant, and we onboard listener. The last, it will be the cluster DB, cluster ASM. All target we onboard, we follow the naming convention. It's easier for us to identify where is the environment, which data, which data center, and which version of the target. Next, we'll talk about the web logic domain target onboarding. Here, how we automate it with the EMCOI. Before this, all the requests need to fulfill the prerequisite, meaning to say that they need to create the monitoring user in the web logic admin console. EM agent install for both admin and managed server. User will submit requests to the service now catalog request. 
all the information they enter will convert in a CSV format. Here is an example, the CSV format. First is the WebLogic version, the WebLogic admin server, the port number. The credential, in fact, is pre-refined by our team. Then we have the prefix, also is by the business segment with the sequence of the number. This current down domain server mark as a Y. With all this information ready is a CSV file. Of the automation will be executed with the command EMCI discover underscore VLS command. Then you will see the target on board in the EM example here. MP underscore EUC is stand for the non prop is for the business unit EUC, then the sequence number. Next, Next about grouping. Grouping play the important role in our EM environment. We are utilized the grouping for incident rules, creation, reporting, access right with the EM go image feature. It's easy for us to create the admin group based on the Go agent image. Any new onboarding target will also be member in a respective group. But for the some cases like the database standalone instant ASM or database, we create the script with the query and schedule the job to create the group. Here, example for the screenshot you can see is for the standalone instant. Since we have the different business segment for application, example, Minerva target, naming will start with the different business prefix. We manage it by create the script assigned to different group. Here is an example is for the application team ship shipment. Automated metric to target rollout. All target on board in the EM must be monitored and trigger alert when it hit the threshold. First, our team will discuss with the user to agree on metric and threshold. This is how we standardize the metric across all the target type. Then we create the default metric for all different target type. This is so-called like the automation instead of uh, we deploy it manually to, through the template. But for some business requirement, we have some exception. Example, business that they have the specific threshold they want to have it. Okay. And some of like standalone DB target, standalone ASM, then we have create the job. Then another is might be the huge DB, we have the specific table space threshold. Another is for the application team. They are the critical application. They also need to have the special threshold. Here, I put the example for the standalone. We create the temp. We have the group and we apply with the template. Okay, come to the EM 13.5 new feature. I believe everyone might be benefit for this and interested. Near zero now time maintenance so-called rapid platform update. With this feature, I don't think we have the challenge to keep EM up to the latest release update. As for our environment, each business segment, each team, each individual can have their own custom dashboard. Automation and incident deduction are always the common topic by the user, by the management. Runbook can apply for table space, target ability, error log, event compression for the same host, same root cause, same domain. EM 13.5 is convenient for the EM team to onboard the new target onboarding because leave the feature non DBSMD account. So we can skip that as a one of the recursive for all the DBA to onboard the target in the EM. Another good feature is the agent patching UI enhancement. 
As you all know, Asian play a very important role in the EM monitoring. With this NMO error page, definitely it helped us a lot for Asian health and stability. For all new features in detail, I encourage you all attend the rest of the session. It will cover by Oracle during this few day event. Some sharing on breast practice be as the EM admin in Dell. Dell. In Dell, we always keep the info up to date. Daily, we have the new provision server, the com server need to handle. How we manage those new provision server, new database, crucial middleware target from time to five, 24 by seven. We utilize the EM CLI command by automate it, onboard it, modify it, become the process through the service now request. For easy support, we define standardized target naming, example, for the DB version. Our target will name with something like 12C, 13C with the data center environment. For the web logic target, we have a prefix with the environment business segment. Example, MP underscore seal is stand for the non pro seal segment. POD underscore HR is the production HR. We simplify the grouping by easy management as grouping play the important roles. For incident rules, user rule, reporting, template, for all agents, we are advised to keep in the latest version and plug in. Whenever come across any new release update, the admin team can easily perform mass patching across a few thousand targets. We create the job with scripting to draw up any security, validation, hot fix, or Java upgrade. For any follow-up, we can track to the report from the Repository example, we just query out from the one of the table from the database. My advice is keep your OMS, OMA, OMR up to date to enjoy the feature. Any upgrade, you can just engage a Puma program. Hope all this information being the benefit for you all. This is end of the presentation. Thank you.